guys, it's Haley. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you all you need or the basic care for guppy fish. And this is a collaboration video with Bethany Svetas. So she has a super cool channel that's all about beta fish care and she has a really adorable dog and she's, she's awesome. Please go get her more subscribers. So I apologize about the bad glare, but to begin this video, I'm going to be talking about all the things you need. So of course you're going to need a tank. Here I have the Fluval 6 Edge, uh, or the Fluval Edge 6, I don't really remember, but it is a Fluval 6-gallon uh, aquarium, and it's really nice. It has a great filtration system, and it's it's just a great aquarium, and I really recommend investing in it. It's kind of pricey, but if you are able to get it, you will not ever regret buying it. But when you're picking out a tank, you need to remember that each guppy needs one gallon of space. Um, so say you have a 10 gallon aquarium, you can have up to 10 guppies in there. Um, so it's really simple when buying a tank, just make sure that it has a good current, because sometimes if the current is too strong, they will have a hard time getting to the surface for food or um, swimming around. Um, so make sure it has a good current. I recommend having a lid because guppies are jumpers. And also... And also just remember one gallon for each fish. The next thing you'll need is the decoration. So guppies are really easy to buy dec decor for. You just need to remember that if a plant is super sharp, they're similar to beta fish and their fins will rip. Of course the fins will grow back, but you don't want to risk it. So I recommend buying soft plastic plants or silk plants. But if you're able to get silk, I always recommend getting silk first. Also, a cave is a nice thing to invest in um, because they are, it gives it a place, it gives the guppies a place to sleep and it's a little uh, area for them to kind of hide if they ever feel stressed. And for step straight, us usually anything will do. Um, as you can see, my male guppy right there, you can kind of see the reflection of my finger, but he's at the base of that green plant, he is picking through the gravel, and that's a natural instinct that they have similar to goldfish. Um, so if you were to pick out gravel, I recommend it, but they don't need it. You could also have a bare, um, a bare bottom uh, aquarium, or you could get gems, or um, sometimes even reptile, um, reptile sand or aquarium sand is good. It's just really up to you. Just make sure that the gem, if you do choose gems, make sure that they are not super big because sometimes your guppies can slide underneath them and get stuck and drown. And since guppies are tropical fish, they will be needing a heater. So I do have a heater for this aquarium. Um, it's like right there, you can kind of see it, but it is a 50 watt heater and it ranges, the temperature ranges from 72 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit, which is ideal. Um, so if you can just change that to Celsius if you do measure temperature in Celsius, but I'm using Fahrenheit because I do live in the US, so yeah. And I'm sorry if that's not right, I'm not, yeah, never mind. But guppies are tropical, so they will need will be needing a heater. Make sure the temperature ranges from 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. But the best area is 72 to 80 to 70, 72 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, I recommend investing in an air stone and an air pump. I do have an air stone and an air pump. My air pump is see that little black box right there. That's my air pump. And you can see my airstone is underneath that rock right there. Um, but those help oxygen oxygenate the water and guppies do go to the surface to breathe. They don't do it as often as betas, but they do go to the surface for air um, along with breathing through their gills. So that does help oxygenate the water and make it easier and a better environment for them. A lot of air pumps are great because it can change the amount of bubbles that the air stone makes and that's very helpful depending on the amount of fish that you have or the size of your aquarium because sometimes if it has a large um, amount of air coming through the pump um, it can make a lot of bubbles and make a harsh current for the guppies to swim in and since they do have longer fins like my male there it's hard to um, swim for them. Okay, and when, uh, like, supplies that you're going to need, um, 
if you were to want, if you are going to breed them, I recommend investing in a breeder box like this one. They are super great because um, you can just put your female in there while it's in the water, and these do float, which is really helpful. And she can give birth, and then once she's finished, you can just pop her right back in the tank, and then you can raise the fry in here. But also, it's helpful to have a second uh, tank to raise the fry in, so if you were to uh, breed that, um, just think, if you were to breed guppies, just think about that. But this video is not specifically on breeding guppies, so I'm not going to go um, into depth too much. Next, of course, you will need a food. So, I recommend Tetra, um, Tetramin or Tetramin Tropical Flakes. This is Tetra Color, which is a color enhancing tropical flakes. Tetra is a good brand. It does have fish meal, but it's not a large amount. And I have noticed that good quality tropical flakes are quite expensive. So, um, I always recommend getting this stuff for beginners, though. And, yeah. But if you are going to be breeding your guppies, I recommend having a better quality food. And when you're in the store, just make sure you read the ingredients on the back of the bottle. And if they do have a low amount of fish meal, then I'm sure it'll be okay. So here's a big thing that I recommend uh, for any fish keeper. And it is aquarium salt. So it helps to promote the fish's health, as you see on the box. And it improves the gill function. Um, and it really helps treat diseases and all kinds of things. Aquarium salt is just so great. You can sprinkle it in after every water change. You can add it if your fish ever gets sick. But yeah, so the directions are on the back if you ever do get this, but I always recommend it to any fish keeper. And next, of course, is water conditioner. I have water clarifier here as an example. This is not water conditioner, of course. Um, it's to, This is something to clear the water, but yesterday I went to the pet store and I got the wrong bottle. So I'm just going to be showing you with this. Um, but all you need to do is add the proper amount that it will say on the back of the bottle. Um, it will give you the directions on the back of the bottle for how much you need to add per gallon or per 10 gallons or whatever. Uh, there, but there's a lot of great brands. I recommend Tetra, Topfin, Aquion, all those common aquarium brands. They all have really great uh, water conditioner. And also, I recommend getting a larger bottle. It will last you longer. Um, so, yeah. And now for guppy care. So when you're picking out a gup the proper healthy guppy, you need to keep in mind that they, you want to pick out a healthy fish. You don't want, even if they're very beautiful, you don't want to pick out an unhealthy fish. A lot of um, big, common, like, uh, what, are them call what are they called? Stores like Petco, PetSmart, things like that, they all commonly have a lot of beautiful uh, guppies, but m commonly they are very unhealthy. So you want to make sure um, you don't get an unhealthy guppy. Pick out one with full fins, clear eyes, has a steady breathing rate, but it's not too fast. And also if their back is kind of slumped, going like this or like, like that, that means that they are, are unhealthy and most likely they do have a parasite. And also if they do have clamped fins, there's also the possibility of them having a parasite. And if they do have a white mold looking growth on them, it is usually a fungal infection um, or a bacteria growing on them. And that that's a very bad sign and you should let the store know. Um, and just don't ever get any guppies from that tank. And also, if they do have signs of dropsy, ick, or other common diseases, don't get a, don't get guppies from that tank. Sometimes you might have to go to multiple stores to find the perfect healthy guppies, or you just need to wait a while. It sometimes it's just not meant to be. And for cleaning and feeding schedule. Um, all you really need to do is clean your aquarium monthly or every two months or every three months, depending on how large it is. Um, the smaller your tank, the more often you need to do water changes and cleaning. I usually do water changes on each of my larger tanks every two weeks. But it really depends. So the bigger the tank, the less often you have to do water changes and cleaning. But I also recommend every water change you siphon out the gravel. And for feeding, you need to follow the instructions on your container of food, but it's really self-explanatory. Um, 
You feed them three times a day or two times a day. If you do it three times a day, you need to do it in small amounts. But I recommend doing it once when you wake up and once when you go to bed in small amounts. And also remember when feeding guppies that eat, they will still eat even though you, even though they've already eaten a large amount. They will just eat until all the food is gone. And so that's a, not a good thing because then they will always seem hungry. And a lot of younger fish keepers, i found, they just keep on feeding their fish until they stop eating. And guppies really never stop, so that's just something to remember. Feed them in small amounts because they, a common um, death of a guppy is be, being overfed. So I think that's it. If I missed anything in the comments, please let me know. And I hope you enjoyed. And also, once again, please go subscribe to Bethany's Betas. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.